and I was in an abusive marriage, and my father yelled at me that I was going to hell when I walked out. I'm sorry. I don't believe in a God that would believe that. Can I have all of my atheists over there? Can I have all my believers over here? Pineapple belongs on pizza. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. My wife will not have a pizza unless there's pineapple on it. <laughs> you can try anything on pizza. So yeah. Why not pineapple? I'm going to bring in the disappears. Pineapple pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pineapple pizza. <laughs> I like the taste of the cheese, the sauce, and the bread. That's it. It's like, it's like candy, though. It's like having candy on a pizza. It's no. Like two good How wrong is that? It's like putting M&M's on a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Back to our side. Say something. I'm nervous about what's going to happen today. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous because this is a normal topic that people can usually talk about, but in this climate, it's very touchy yeah. to even say, I believe or I don't believe, you know, right. so. It's funny, I would think that you would feel safer in the belief category than I feel in the non-belief category. I was raised in a house very culturally Jewish. We talked a lot about God and religion and many different religions of the world, but um, I wasn't raised uh, with any faith, with any religious faith in the house. Just two years ago, I hated Christians. I think I was an atheist, but I voiced all my doubts and skepticisms and they gave me their perspective on it. That kind of opened me up and that's why I'm a man of faith today. I believe there is good in every person. <laughs> if I think if I just choose to believe that everyone is purely bad or evil, then that's going to be pretty... And then you have to decide what, what the definition of good yeah, is. It, what like is according good? to Christianity, there's no one good. No, not one. But I don't necessarily believe that if no one's good. I, We're I don't born want, with a sin nature. Yeah, so that's hard. Is like my definition of good may not align with scripture, so it's hard because that's why I hesitated. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to believe everybody's good. If that's antithetical to the Christian belief is that you're born um, is sinful, it's interesting that the three um, of you came who are believers in, in that. I, I'm not saying people are innately good. I'm saying all, I, I just understood the question as all people are capable of. Yeah, no. <laughs> Start with Hitler and go from there. Are people, you know, are some people born good and turn bad? Well, I think that's, that's why right. the definition of good is subjective. That's why it's like each to each his own for a definition, we which is kind of hard. We don't know what is right or wrong without the Bible, because it's God that makes the rules. Really? And without God, you, really? have, you have no rules. You don't, you can't make a decision on your own whether it's good or bad. What about Hitler? He made a decision. He right. thought it was and, good. And he was wrong. You don't need the Bible to tell you that. Well, uh, you're, it's, you're born with that. God put that in you. As, that as nature, you believe. that conscious. As you believe. That's not a belief, it's a fact. I'm an author of two books where I give the whole history of the earth from paleontology, geology, archaeology, publish about four articles on numerous subjects including politics, uh, science, meteoritics, dinosaurs. I believe my life has worth and value. To my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I would want people to think that they have worth and value, but I mean, we are all ants on a big ball. We are all very important. The design in those things, if a man were to design it, it would cost several million dollars to make a human, if that were possible. And yet, he's, God has created billions of us. 
I believe in people. I believe we make our own choices. I don't believe that there is a overriding being controlling those choices or controlling our situation. You are important. I'm, mm, <laughs> so I do not think that inherently just existing gives you worth and value. I think that you make choices, personal choices every single day on how you live your life and how you treat people and how you exist in the world and those. Well, hold on, you just made a definition about what value is, but you still don't believe you're valuable based on your explanation? I said I'm not inherently valuable. My, to, mm. my being born does not you're just. You're saying based on your contribution to the world determines your value. Mm. Get don't, no. don't, no, please don't. Oh, don't. no, I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm trying to. <laughs> there are many people who just exist because of instinct or because do their lives have value? I don't know. If they find value in it, sure. If they don't, maybe not. Who, who am I to judge whether somebody's life is inherently valuable? I have had my doubts on the existence of a higher power. I am a woman of faith and belief. Um, I believe in the supernatural and higher power and a being that there's no accident in, in the way we were created. Yeah, I think any time I have gone through hardship, I've questioned not just what I believe, I question my life, I question my profession, I question my relationships, so. And I, I think, you know, if you believe, whether it's Islam, Hindu, I think you have to doubt. You can't just jump in there and be like, sign me up, I agree with everything, let's do this. That would be for you, but that's not for everybody that is a believer of any particular religion. Some people don't question anything. But in your view, by, by standing and saying, you know, I don't think there's any higher power, you, do you ever face any doubt of thinking, maybe there is? Well, the definition of an atheist is someone who does not believe. It's not a declaration per se that there is no God. I am an atheist activist. I'm on the board of Atheists United here in Los Angeles and on the steering committee for Americans uh, United for Separation of Church and State. All right, come on in. I, uh... No, I've never had any doubt because I can see design everywhere. And you are not an atheist, you're an agnostic. Nope. You see, I'm an, an agnostic no. believes. Don't tell me what I am. I am an atheist. An atheist doesn't believe in... I am in, an atheist, no. An atheist doesn't the believe in the supernatural, no. period. An atheist an does agnostic not believe in... An agnostic no, no, no. does believe an in the supernatural. An atheist does not he believe in He just in doesn't God. believe in God. Well, I am telling you what an atheist is. You're wrong. No. Uh, Do you believe I am, in the supernatural? I am an atheist. You know, Do you look, believe look, in the supernatural? Look. Do not tell me... Do you believe what in witches? We don't need to make anybody right or wrong. It's just answer the question, give her space to talk. Give her space right. to talk. Do you believe that this line of interrogation questioning furthers your... No, I'm just giving facts. Mm -hmm. Saved by the bell. I am feeling frustrated right now. Mm. I'm, 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 I'm feeling frustrated because it's even amidst the fellow believers, like the things he says, I'm just like, yo, I don't even know. I don't want what he says to reflect what my faith is to, you know what I mean? I think like, it's sad um, that people are so determined to make other people wrong. And I grew up in a household with a conservative Jewish mother and a born-again Christian father. And I was in an abusive marriage. And my father yelled at me that I was going to hell when I walked out. I'm sorry. I don't believe in a God that would believe that. Yeah, that's not. That's it's not, not and that is objectively, I don't care. That's and in crazy. These conversations, like, you know, if we have people who are just trying to drive their point through and almost exactly. converting it, it kind of shuts down conversation. Exactly. I want to know what you believe and why, why you don't. Anybody else? Come on in. Again, we have the power to choose our response to things. So I choose not to feel hurt, I choose not to be misunderstood. I think there's safety in being heard and understood. Yeah. You feel as if the, whatever it is that you want to be understood about matters. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting married in the next two months and I'm, I'm learning mm. that <laughs> just, just <laughs> loving is not the same as understanding. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it takes energy and effort to understand someone who's different. I think, you know, I think we're kind of, as a society, becoming lazy. So we're like, oh, you're different. I don't want to understand. I mean, people who are just it's saying. It's always been that way. Oh, yeah, it's always been that <laughs> Time. I believe, as a person, I have room for improvement. 
Oh, look, we all agree. <laughs> we all have room for improvement. That's my oh, aspiration goodness. on a daily basis, is to be a better person. We're always learning. I used to think at some point I would like, oh, actualize into, oh, I've made it. I've made it into <laughs> maturity and wisdom. No. 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 <laughs> For a teenager, you think, when I'm in college, I'll have it figured yep. out. Yep. When right. I graduate, I'll have it figured out. When I get married, I'll have it figured out. When I have kids, I have it figured out. But we're always... We won't reach perfection until we get to heaven. Down here is an imperfect world. We can, our knowledge is imperfect. Our bodies are imperfect. Our world is imperfect. I mean, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but it's the, the delivery of it. Is, all right, we, we improvement. It, but <laughs> right, let's stay yeah, up. Yeah, we all, what was the question? We all believe that we have room for improvement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah certainly. Yeah. All right, Alyssa, I acknowledge you for keeping very, very focused and not getting ever heated, but staying focused. I appreciate your honesty and the, the way you stand up for what you believe. Nancy, you have a presence of self. You, you have a very still, very centered quality to you that is um, very admirable. Christine, I acknowledge you for not running out of the room when you were <laughs> uh, in a controversial conversation. Um, I acknowledge you for standing your ground, uh, for believing what you believe, and you've got a lot of fight in you. Oh, Jeremy, I acknowledge you for being unwaveringly firm in what you believe um, and not caring um, whether it's controversial or difficult to say what you believe. Um, that is a sign of passion. Peter, I think you're growing and I think you're a wonderful guy. And your marriage is going to make it grow even more. <laughs> <laughs> you just seem um, like a very comfortable guy who's willing to learn and grow, and that's a lovely, lovely quality in somebody. Rissa, you have this ability to take stock of yourself and make decisions. Like when you said, I choose not to be hurt and so I'm not hurt, it's just, it's an amazing quality in somebody. Thank you. Nice to meet that you all. Awesome. Nice Bye guys. <laughs> Are we invited to the wedding? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I'll see you when they send their Thanks. Smart. <laughs>